Hey guys, Code Logomorph here. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a dialogue system in Godot, as I have said in my previous video. And I'm going to inform you early that I'm not using any fancy plugin for this dialogue system, but only I am going to use Array to create the dialogue system, and also I'm not saving it into external JSON file. Okay, so without any further ado, let's go! Alright, here we are in my latest update development. First, I'm going to show you the final outcome for this dialogue system I have created in my game. If I'm going to click the NPC, the player will have to go closer to the targeted NPC with an icon indicator above the player's head. When the player reaches the expected landing point to trigger the dialogue system, the icon indicator will be hidden and both characters will face to each other. And then the dialogue box will now appear to start the dialogue. And this hovering button will only appear when the text is finished its animation. Then by clicking will permit you to proceed the dialogue to move to the next conversation and repeats the way it does until it ends and hides the UI of the dialogue system, alright? Now moving forward, I'm going to show you now the necessary nodes I added in my game to came up for a dialogue system. So for this, we must have a canvas layer, I renamed it UI Dialog. And inside of it, we must have a node 2D, I renamed it dialog box. And then inside the node 2D, we must have a sprite node that contains the dialog box sprite. Then next, we must have an animation player, renaming it as a dialog box animate. So what happens to the animation player is where we can create three animations. One I called character portrait appear, other one I called dialog box appear, and the last one is a dialog box disappear. Now we are going to leave this for the meantime and proceed to the next. Now we have here another sprite node for debugging purpose. I only created this for temporary reason. Now moving forward again. Now, in UI Dialog Canvas Layer, we must add a control node. I renamed it Dialog Pop-Up and saving it as a scene. Now, inside this control node, let's add a rich text level. I renamed it Black Movement During Dialog. I'm not sure about this thing. Maybe I'm going to remove this one if I will found out that this one is not necessary at all. Well, the only reason I created this node is to nullify inputs from the user when the dialog system is processing. But anyway, let's continue. Now here, another rich text label I added. I renamed it character name. Then also, I added here a texture rec that I renamed character portrait. Also, another rich text label node, I renamed it to dialog. And inside of this node is a temporary sprite node just for debugging purpose only. Then next we have a twin node to animate the text in the dialog. And then we have here also a texture button, renaming it as dialog indicator. And lastly, we have here an animation player, I renamed it dialog indicator animate. Now, inside the animation player is I uh, set up the dialog indicator hovering that manipulates the dialog indicator transparency to create fade in and fade out effect animation. Now, back to the main. As we go back here to the dialog box animate, in character portrait appear is where we manipulate the character portrait visibility, reposition, and its modulate. And we do the same to the character name.
So if we play this, the animation looks this way. Now also below, we manipulate the rec position of the dialog and also of the dialog indicator. Now as we proceed to the next, here is the dialog box appear. We manipulate the dialog box, sprite visibility, its position, and the modulate. While here in dialog box disappear, we manipulate the dialog box sprite, its visibility, and modulate. We manipulate the character portrait also here, its modulate and visibility as well. And we do manipulation also to the character name. And for the block movement during dialogue, we manipulate its rec position and its visibility. That's all. Now let's proceed to the code. Here in dialog box node to this script, we only declare two unready variables. Then in ready function, we set the sprite visibility to false. And then we created here three customized function to access the dialog box animation player I had shown previously. Now let's proceed to the dialog pop-up script. Just declare variables here that we must need. We have export variables to get the node path of the player node and also for the pathfinding node. And we set it here in the main. In the inspector tab of the dialog pop-up, we set the two node path we needed, okay? Go back to the script, we declare an already variable to get the dialog box node and so forth. And don't forget to declare indicator press variable to false. Now here's the thing, this array variable here is the one that stores the script or text we need to display for conversation between the player and the targeted NPC. We must make array variable for each NPC for each day for my case and it's up to you. Mine, I assign dialogue for each day. And in the future, I'm planning to add rather than routine dialogue, I request dialogue, and etc. So moving on, here below, we declare also empty array variable, naming it dialogue convo. And we declare also dialogue index variable to zero, dialogue finish to false, loading dialogue box stopper to zero, and wait. Code this one here. And now, here in ready function, we simply set the dialog rec global position to vector to negative 13 700. And now we create a customized function, I called it load dialog. Here we do evaluation of who is the NPC the player is going to talk to. If the NPC detected nearby is equals to zero, then the system recognizes the targeted NPC is in PC through it. If in PC detected nearby is equals to 1, the system recognizes the targeted NPC is in PC then. And inside the code condition here is where we set and load everything, the character name, so as well the sprite for character portrait, alright? Notice I call also the dialog box that character portrait appear function here to repeat the animation of the character portrait and character name to appear in the screen. And by the way, here in the array we have the first line of the text is the dialog index 0 and the next line is the dialog index 1 and next is so forth, okay? Now let's try to run the game. Now please notice the animation of the character portrait and the character name. You see that? 
triggers twice and in the third time it's just steady. Now why is that? It is because of this. And we get that here in the dialog box script, okay? Now moving on. Now here is the part where we animate the text in the dialog display and we use the interpolate property of the twin to do the thing. Now let's run the game again. You see that? The twinning gives lively effect to the text in the dialogue, right? Now when twinning is finished, that is the time when the dialogue indicator button will only appear. And then if it is pressed, we load the next conversation. Now as we go to the player script, we simply add variables for the dialogue system. So we have dialogue pop-up on ready variable, character portrait on ready variable, character name on ready variable, dialogue box on ready variable, dialogue box sprite on ready variable, and also on ready variable for the cursor talk. Now in the unhandled input, I did some tweaking of the codes here. I added condition if player lock movement is equal to true. Then dialog state must be true, else dialog state become false and counter is equals to 1. So if dialog state is equals to false, that's the time it will permit to execute the following codes below, okay? Now in process function, I add this code here. I also start the initiate talk timer here. And if we go from the very bottom, I do this inside the initiate talk timer timeout. We must do this, okay? And let's proceed to the next. Now let's see. We have to go to the idle state function. Now this is where the dialog system initiation happens through this condition here, okay? And I start the dialog appear shutter timer here. And inside the dialog appear shutter timeout, we call the dialog that dialog appear function. And then here is a function when dialog box animate animation is finished. We simply get this true here. And if we click the node tab here, just click the animation finished, we assign this to the player node script to appear. So if the anim name is dialog appear, then it will do the codes here and so forth. By the way, this one is the anim name to determine. Notice I have assigned landing point and cursor point here a value to make a double click effect in my game for the player to be able to walk again. Now 
Now let's run the game. everything is fine now i have to test something of course if we have a writable name for the player which means the player name in the game is changeable so how can we handle changeable text in the dialog system so to fix that i have simple solution for that matter Now for an instance, we add new line of text here, then PC Judith. Then let's just copy the coded line of code here I have created. Then here, let's paste the line of code and we must change the index to 3. And then here, we replace the text inside the bracket, for example, to Carlos. And now let's try to run the game. Great, it works. But I notice we have bugs detected here that we need to fix. Oh, it tells us that Judith Idle animation negative one is not found, which means the problem is not in the dialog system. By the way, we do some changes of the code also here in the idle state function to NPC Judith. And we need to do the same to other NPC, okay? And tweak. Now let's go to the pathfinding node script to solve the issue. Here in nearby detector obstacles, I can tell nothing is wrong here. Now I see here in the obstacles is where the issue came from. It should have this additional code.
then let's us just copy this code and do the same to Judith Obstacles because we must do the same to every NPC we have in the game, okay? Now if we run the game, it should get rid of the errors now. So yeah, we did it! And for the last time, let's run the game. So that's it for this video thank you people for subscribing into this channel we hit 150 subscribers now thank you so much your subscription means a lot to me so thanks for watching and see you in my next video